Welcome everybody back to the Building Equity Podcast. I'm James Schlimmer here to talk about January 2024's foreclosure report numbers. Now listen, before I start, I got to give you my disclaimer. We're not giving you any investing advice. We're not giving you any legal advice or tax advice or financial advice. This is strictly for educational purposes and uh, glad we knocked that out. As always, the foreclosure report is brought to you by IRA Title Pro. If you are thinking about buying and selling real estate using your self-directed IRA, you should know about IRA Title Pro. Head over to IRAtitlepro.com where you're going to be able to see an entire suite of real estate-related resources that are designed to help you at every step of your buying, selling, or lending using your self-directed IRA real estate process. So check that out. Let's dive into the numbers. We're going to do something a little bit different here today because normally I show you graphs and charts. I just want you to head over to IRA Title Pro, take a look at the resources, reports, foreclosure report. You could see where you can sign up for this information and get it yourself, right? Now, but what I do want to talk about is you could see me next to it here. When we talk about foreclosure starts in January, there were 21,370. That was a 6.5% increase from December, which saw 20,052. Year over year, if you compare January of 23 compared to January of 24, we're up about 4.95%, call it almost 5% in foreclosure starts. If we talk about foreclosure starts, some interesting states that we're talking about here from a volume standpoint, it's always California, Texas, Florida, because those are the biggest states. But if we start looking at per thousand households, Nevada, Florida, Alabama, something's going on in Alabama. You should see this overwhelming theme, uh, especially when we talk about the notice of foreclosure sales and REOs. Alabama stuff's happening. If we look at the foreclosure sales, you can see it on the screen right here. Uh, there were 15,765 in January of 24. That was a 13.6% increase from December. 13.6 is significant. Year over year, that was a 4.9% increase if you compare January of 24 with January of 23. When we start looking at uh, which states, Texas, California, Michigan, that's from a volume standpoint. If you look at per thousand households of notice of foreclosure sale, Alabama, again, Texas, and Michigan. Interesting, right? If you start looking at REOs, that's where the property went to auction and the bank took over the property. We have 3,954 in January of 24 compared to 3,503. There was a 12.8% increase in REOs in January of 24 compared to the previous month, December of 23. If we look year over year, January 23 compared to January of 24, there was a 1.4% increase. If we look at the states from a volume standpoint, Michigan, California, Illinois. If we look at per thousand households, Michigan, Maryland, and Illinois. So if you were to look at just January 24 foreclosure numbers, really Michigan, is a state that should be looked at a little bit closer in Alabama, in my opinion. And you can do that on IRA Title Pro, foreclosure reports, drill in, get your free state-specific reports. You can actually drill in to the zip code level and see what's happening. Um, hope that helps. Uh, hope you click subscribe, like, all that stuff, and you check us out. And again, if you're using your self-directed IRA to buy and sell real estate, head over to IRA Title Pro so you can check us out. Thanks so much, and we'll talk to you next month.